402-237-8400. Looking forward to service your vision needs. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! Five minutes after 9 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Sunny looking Monday morning. The first work day of 2016, I guess you could say. Depending on who you are, of course. And for many people. And Bern Pareso is here. We're, we're in Florida and Bern has her family in, in the Philippines. And they're going to look at you today and say, wait a minute. She is all bundled up like it must be cold. I it thought is. I thought this was Florida. <laughs> How are you? But I'm doing well. But I, I love that look. That's a beautiful look. You know, we, we, we don't get this beautiful weather all year round, so I'm taking advantage of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, good to see. How was your New Year? Anything uh, Everything exciting was terrific. Can't complain. Anything celebratory? Um, hmm. it, was, it was well celebrated. <laughs> it was well celebrated. Well celebrated. How well, about you? I celebrated it by sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I woke up to the sound of, like, warfare, it sounded like, outside my door. <laughs> But uh, and how many hours of sleep are we talking about? Oh, normal. I, I did a normal sleep. Well, Eight no, hours, you think? Oh, no, never. All right. Not for me, no. How about Robin? Did you have, was it well celebrated? Oh, no. I was home <laughs> and I had something to eat and I went to bed. Well, we worked New Year's Day. Well, so the we best here, thing is, oh, had, We had did. fireworks in my neighborhood, so I like to watch and that. And that's yeah. the best thing. We are here. We are yeah. here. We are here. Some people didn't make it. You know, uh, I know that's too sad. That's what I'm saying. And sometimes I wonder if, what if the new year would not come? I love that oh. scarf. You're such a classy lady. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, she is classy. Thank you. So, um, well, I'm glad to hear you that. You know, you remind me of when I, was, when I was a little kid. We used to go to the Thanksgiving parade, and it was always so cold. And the ladies would always be dressed like you're dressed right now. Oh, thank you. And like I said. <laughs> You know, I, I like this weather. <laughs> yeah. I get excited waking up in the morning, and I would open my door and feel the temperature outside. Mm -hmm. Except that the ladies would have a muff. Do you know what a muff yeah. is? I had a muff. I love those muffs. <laughs> now, what is that? <laughs> it's, how, how do you describe it? It's, 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 it's a, 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 a round thing uh -huh. at, with fur on it, and it's got a satin lining, and you put your hands in it. Oh, yeah, I don't know what you where you put long. it. I don't know where you put it when it you're not beautiful. when you need your hands. Well, no. it, it it fits on your arm. It oh, it goes on your arm. Your arm. So, yeah. And amazing. was that happening here in Ocala? No, yeah. this is okay. Like Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, 1970. Thanksgiving. But we have 68. You know, but this year we haven't really <laughs> had. Well, last year, 2015. I forgot. This is 2016. But we didn't really feel uh, real cold weather. No, not until mm -mm. today, this weekend. Yeah. yeah. Last night, probably. Well, I was gone. But Good. anyway. Yeah. Where were you? I was in Orlando. I had a oh. f 13 family members from the Philippines. So they nice. Oh, are they watching nice. right now? They actually are on their way back to the Philippines. Oh. So they are on this 13 hour flights. Wow. Michigan. Wow. Detroit, Michigan, all the way to Japan. And that's. Mm -hmm. uh, 13, My goodness. 13 to 15 Gosh. hours. I, could I never, we really need to spend some time with you. I uh, we, we need to know who you are. I mean, <laughs> how many languages do you speak? Four. Four? Oh my God. Is Japanese one of them? No, Chinese. Chinese. Well, not everything, but I can comprehend. So we could uh -huh. go to the, the Ocean Buffet with you and you could talk to those girls? I. Yeah. Uh, yes. You, nice. We can, but I don't really think they're all Chinese. Oh, are they not? They could be Vietnamese. They don't understand me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so you can just say shay shay. Well, we, we you know shay shay me. Thank you. Oh, oh shay shay. Well, you can, can say ni hao. <laughs> That's pretty common among what, children. What is ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao is hi, hello. Ni hao. Ni hao. And know? what's the other one? Shay shay. Shay shay is thank you. And thank you. Shay shay. So those two hi. things. Yeah. Ni hao and shay shay. I know you're looking at the clock. You want to get to business. I don't want to take your time. <laughs> you mean your time? <laughs> your time. But anyway, let's just um, New Year's, January the fourth, and I want to revisit about New Year's resolution. So what do you ah, have? Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> what did you have? Have you started working on mm. it? And guess what? <laughs> Coincidentally, <laughs> he's in shorts. He must be warm. <laughs> I just want to say that uh, <laughs> when you mentioned about uh, you had plenty of sleep, yes, and I want I ask you 
how many hours. That's one of my, you know, I'm self improvement. My wish. Oh, you're gonna have more sleep for this year that I want to take. What's better. the secret to more sleep? Well, you have to go to bed early, but less stress, I think. Right, and you have to be, you know, like. If you are planning on going sleeping at 9 or 10 o'clock, you have to be in bed at 8. But with the television and mm-hmm. computers and all the gadgets in the world, it's just hard. And especially the young kids now. By the way, school is uh, starting again tomorrow oh, okay. for our students. Is that the only so, thing yeah. that keeps a woman up is television and computers? So I, I think this <laughs> There's a th- there might be other things. And do not eat. For, for the man. <laughs> <laughs> but my New Year's resolution, I don't have a lot and I'm doing my best, is, of course, to take better care of my health. And that requires a doctor's appointment. And we are still on the same, you know, oh, I'm gonna, as far as our health. I have a health one. It, it is health related. I'm going to stop. I, I am a saltaholic. I, ha- I put salt. S- I put salt on everything. Well, salt is good. Now, you know, when you're used to. I love to, salt. Are you going to tell me it's okay? <laughs> <laughs> I want to have a good day. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you like salty things too? I do, but do I, I am minimizing it. Yeah, I'm minimizing. Minimizing. You got the same problem I have then. How come you look so good and I don't? Oh, you know, in the Philippines, we eat a lot of seafood. Seafood from not... But that's and- natural salt. What's well, is it salt natural? Though? I don't know. Isn't it, it from is the salty. ocean and you just dry it out? And but I know it is salty, and we use salt even on... You, you put know, salt on pizza? Dish. That I put uh, red pepper, you know, the um, oh, chili pepper. Oh, yeah. Because I like spicy, not very spicy. But anyway, so I am glad that you are um, sleeping at least, you know, some of Six. our friends. Six hours is about what I get. S- I'm I'm less, but I get lucky if I get seven, and I did mm-hmm. right before the New Year. So. Oh, good. So we can try and we can try and and work, you know, that part. Um, I was talking to this lady, and she said she could not even sleep, and I said, well, I don't know how it is, but um, you eat. It says one of the psychologists was talking about on the radio that stop drinking like two hours before going to bed stop right, eating right, right. and relax yourself so and again don't forget today is the first week january the fourth get your doctor's appointment line up i uh, i will continue with my um uh, um discussion today next week um health is wealth Health is wealth. It is. Absolutely. And this article was... Uh, All the money in the world can't buy you health. <laughs> and listen to this. This is really interesting. And this was written by Ankita Mitra. She's actually from India. And it says, health is wealth. There is nothing in our life that is more valuable than good health. Without health, there is no happiness, no peace, and no success. A person with bad health cannot enjoy the pleasure of being wealthy. Health is more valuable than money. Money cannot buy health and happiness. But a healthy person remains in a state of bliss and happiness. That's beautiful. Exactly. That's absolutely true. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, we will continue... Um, chatting about New Year's resolution as we move forward towards the second and the third and the fourth. You, you know, can go longer. We took week. up your time talking. Do I have? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll, we can stretch it a little bit. I, I, we can stretch it. Like I said, I wasn't sure if the next, you know, oh, business is... I, I, wanted to hear, I wanted to learn about you. Well, thank you. And um, <laughs> let me see what else. So talking about, like I said, I mentioned about get more quality sleep. So you have that. Learn to be happier with your life. How's that? Learn oh, to be. I like that. Learn I'm, I'm always be. pretty happy with my life. And you are. And, you know, I, I just want you to know that, like I said, you are, you and Robin here, you know, I see the energy, the excitement, and we want to be so thankful about that because some people are really struggling. Yeah. Even to find friends and to get out and to get up. And be with people. Yeah, yeah. And her is here is let me see, get in shape. You know, one of very common New Year's resolution. Yeah, we, that is probably never going to happen for me. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, be thankful. I am that thankful. You are here every morning, and Robin. And I do not know. Do you ever get sick? 
I hope not. Yeah, I Knock do. on granite, hardly ever. Because yeah. even yeah. when I'm yeah. not here, I listen to the radio, and you are all, you know, with your voice happy all the time. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes uh, a sickness might <laughs> befall us. Yeah, but yeah. we don't let anybody so, know. So, uh, let me see. Here's one I like also. It is develop healthier eating habits. Stay away from junk food. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. I had a chocolate covered Twinkie the other night. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> I can't be taken in more than one. <laughs> and drink plenty of water. I know when the weather like this, you know, it's chilly. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, you can drink coffee, but you cannot meet like eight glasses a day, which is, you know, uh, oh, you know what I, I did? Mm-hmm. How long ago did I start with the green tea? It was, it was f- 2015. Yeah. yeah, it was. And it's helpful. It was about right? June. Oh, really made May a big difference. May or June it was. I, yeah. I replaced my coffee habit with a green tea habit. There you go. So and it's still a habit, but it's a much healthier. But I still have coffee now and then. Me too. I have cut that down as well. and I'm Really? Uh, you know how it is with our age. You know, 20 years ago was so different then. Oh, yeah. Uh, but like I said, again, do not forget, this is the first month of the year we need to get our... Do you walk? Are you, are you a walker? Do you walk every day? I Not every day, but I try. See, that's, that's the news. Or I want to walk more. That's it. 20, even but just 20 you, minutes You know the a song, A Spoonful of Sugar? Spoonful of sugar. Right. From what, Mary what? Poppins. From Mary Poppins? No. no. Well, the, 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 the gist of the song is that it's, a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down or helps the medicine go down. Oh. So for me, if I say I want to walk right. every day, if I just walk through the mall, that's not enough. I need to have something exciting, a reason to walk. To okay. be outdoors. Yeah. Like, so you go to a park and where there's a you river see. and you're going to walk along the Like, if you go to Disney World, you walk between 9 exactly. and 12 miles. And you don't even think about it. Right. You have already you know, right, so that's the spoonful of sugar mm-hmm. theory. Oh, there you go. So there's got to be a substance. There's got to be something more than yeah. just walking. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's pretty reasonable because it can get boring if you're doing something. Well, that you walk can. through oh, the yeah, mall. Exactly. I mean, the mall is okay once in a while, I guess. But yeah, but it's it, indoors and it's all crowded. And that's true. Well, now the weather is nice. Mm-hmm. You can just go walk and enjoy, you, know, you know, the breezy, the the chilly mm-hmm. weather. Burn, we had a yes. sto- we had a story this morning about okay. six people who are over a hundred years old. Five of them are women, one's a man, and uh, you want to know what they eat and drink? Tell me. One hundred sixteen year old lady named Susanna, four strips of bacon every morning and double mint gum all, all day long. She chews gum and, and eats bacon. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Sugar and fat. There you go. <laughs> there you go. But again, you know, it has something to do with your genetics, yeah, you know, how yeah. you were raised, what you were eating. And I do yeah. believe that, you know, these grandmas right now that are over 100 years old, mm-hmm. they must have very good foundation as far as, you know, their parents probably raised them correctly, right. fed them with good food, all organic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the time has changed. Can uh, Dr. Reddy, when when a, when, when a person goes to Dr. Uh, Vishnu Reddy, can uh-huh. he tell just by talking to them and doing a few tests that they're mm. not eating properly and then he puts them on a um, better path? So that would be the, the, the provider, the, the family doctor or the internal medicine doctor that is mm-hmm. taking care of that patient because this doctor is monitoring this patient all year round. Dr. Reddy would just get the order from the family doctor Mm -hmm. to do this, whatever, screening or maybe colon, you know, testing and all that because he's a gastroenterologist. But Mm -hmm. our family doctor, the doctor, all the time, we have stomach ache, head ache, all that thing. This person is your provider and he or she must know what's going on with your system. So January is always like a routine checkup. Where you do, because it's like once a year. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter if you have symptoms. Oh, or no okay. symptoms. You have to go get your blood test done. And that's what I'm going to do. You are. Oh, nice. You are. Do you so know, when, when we donate blood, they, yes. they give us a mini like report. They tell us yeah. the cholesterol reading, right. the blood so pressure. and exa- mm-hmm. Oh, so you have done your last year? Exactly. But basic testing, like you want to monitor your liver. Your kidneys, you know, your sugar, your cholesterol. Uh, you know, there's a basic, we call it metabolic testing. Uh-huh. Or mm-hmm. Not the complicated ones like the A1C. Well, you can do that too. And now doctor's offices are doing that with your, you know, like the finger prick. 
They call oh. we call it a finger prick. A one C. Funny word, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I'm. I would <laughs> enjoy speaking yeah. about the basic testing that we can all do. And to all our listeners, thank you again. You know for listening um, today, Monday, and I'm way out of my time. So oh, anyway, okay. so, so how do you? Okay, so is it? Oh, oh, let me see if I, if I remember. Shay Shay is. Sh- thank you. Shay Shay is thank you. Ni hao hi. Ni is. Ni hao. Oh, ni, hao. ni hao. Who is the Spanish Dora? You know Dora. Dora the, the Explorer. Girl, uh, yeah. Spanish Explorer. Dora the. That's the it. And we have yeah. Diego. This is where children, our precious children, you know, they are yeah, learning. Yeah. About the Spanish, you know, little Spanish, hi, hello, good morning, hola, mm-hmm. hasta la vista, and all that. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. But anyway, we So, what are the other two languages? English, Chinese? What I speak uh, international, well, Tagalog, you know, Tagalog is. That's Philippine? Right, and okay. I speak. Chinese, I'm not very fluent, but I can carry on. But there's a fourth one you it's said. It's Mandarin, yeah. Oh, And wow. then I have Spanish, and then, of course, English. Oh, you can speak Spanish? I can. Wow. Yeah. Do you speak, Robin? Uh, so no, just, just, just English, yeah. Okay. Just English, I can yeah, carry I on, but you, I must... But Mandarin sounds uh, intriguing. Mandarin I can, I can say this in Spanish. Para Espanol, por favor, marque el número siete. <laughs> I can say that. I can say that. I hear that every time I call something. There are common, you know, common. And nowadays you go everywhere. And we have a lot of families that are Spanish. And they're beautiful. I love the children. You, I meet all kinds of people every day. We don't have a lot of German, maybe. Or I know that we have a Scottish community here and yes. a lot of Irish. Scottish speak English, yeah. but you can't understand it. <laughs> or Polish. Or Poland. Or Polish. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. But, um, yeah. And like I said, Ocala, we have so many, like, international oh, yeah. uh, groups here. And, um, so I what's a good Phil- Philippine New Year's tradition? Like, what's something, like, maybe superstition or something, or, or food that you would eat uh, for the New Year to, New for Year, good New luck? Year. There's always a celebration on New Year's Day, which is during the day, and uh, generally Filipinos would prepare the traditional Filipino dish, or which is know, what you know the roast pork. The roast oh. pork. Okay. We call it lechon. Lechon. L e c h o n. What a baby does, doesn't he? Lechon. Doesn't the baby latch on? Yeah. Oh, there's a baby. Are you talking about baby pig? No. Well, pig. I guess pigs do it too. But don't don't human babies latch on to mamas? What is that? Nursing. He's talking oh, about babies. Human babies nursing. Isn't that what they call it? Because latching it's on. All latching on. I'm, I don't know about. You know that. they. they, they oh. Yeah. They they, they, put, they they call them latching. On. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. But latch latch. No. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come on. Come on. This is getting. Uh, <laughs> Deeper now. I know that let Robin, is it from the word leche? Yeah. Leche, okay. Yeah. Leche is milk. Yes. So breastfeeding, is that what you're saying? Yes, yeah, that's what okay, yeah. you're saying. Yeah. Because Filipino words are based from Spanish. Oh, you know, okay. We have agua. Agua is water. It's water, okay. The oh. person that carries the water is aguador. Aguador. Aguador, right? Oh, I like that. So is that, um, I know that you have family from... Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. The Honduras or uh, Hond- uh, Ecuador? Ecuador. Yeah. But son-in-law. when you go to these countries, do you know that they have a certain way of speaking their dialects? And oh, they yeah. could be speaking Spanish, but it's is it a slang word or is it the right, right. that there is something because when I went to Costa Rica and I may have mentioned this during my early part of you know my show here, that I understand I can speak Spanish, but I don't know everything, and I was. Standing at the supermarket, I was wanting to purchase a, a calling card. There was no cell phone at that time. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Call United States. Nobody could understand me, and I could not understand the way they talk. And they were speaking Spanish. They were Spanish, but it was like very fast. Oh, different, different and dialect or it something. It was different, and it took me three days. And I stood up there and I said, "They are talking Spanish. It's just you're so used to speaking, you know, your." Version, yeah, exactly. yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and and finally figured it out that there is no, there's just a slight difference about some words and uh-huh. that can apply to any other languages. Just like, you know, there's uh, 72 dialects in the Philippines. Oh, really? I can speak oh, two wow. locals, but wow. one word may be different understanding, maybe may de- maybe defined differently. So we have to be careful. Like your para word. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like I had a word. story. This is my story. Can I tell you my story? Sure. Back back in when a long time ago, I used to take my laundry to a laundromat down mm -hmm. in uh, the villages. Yeah. Okay. And I had my dog with me. And whenever I'd go early in the morning on a Saturday, there'd be families there. Most and like they looked like they were Mexican, and they mm -hmm. had these little children. And they would always say that I had a beautiful dog. Oh, beautiful dog, beautiful dog. But they would say it in Spanish. So I oh, learned like, it was... Is it muy lindo or something? Hold on. I'm going to tell you what it is. Cause, <laughs> because I, because I, to well, I told the audience on the radio <laughs> what they were saying. And a lady said, you're saying it wrong. And it's so funny because what you're saying means... Different. Yes. So yeah. this yeah. is what I was saying. Yeah. Perro bonito. Or something like that. Yeah. Perro? Perro? Something like yes. that. Well, I think they were God. rolling the R, or they weren't rolling the R. And so this, is it interpreted as handsome dog? Well. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, see? Well, there was a pe perro. Perro. Uh -huh. per perro. I yeah, thought meant dog. I thought that's what they were saying. But uh -huh. they said I was saying fart. Okay. Yeah. So, so I was saying beautiful fart. Right. Because he was either rolling there or not rolling. And I can't. Exactly. Now, do you speak Spanish? Too? So, how do you say beautiful dog using the word perro? How do you say that? How do you say that? <laughs> You're asking wrong. I, I'm wondering. I don't want to say anything wrong. Everybody's listening. Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, Spanish. I can say it though. But, but so, yeah. yeah. But you can say, I think what you were trying to say, that nice dog. Well, I thought they were saying beautiful. I thought bonito beautiful. means beautiful, no? Bonita, bonita, bonita. Bonita, bonita. Well, and again, you know, that applies to the what dialect. country? Uh, Costa Rica is different from uh, Puerto Rico. I think they were from Mexico. Or Venezuela or Mexico. Um, well, that's the beauty. And don't feel bad. Mm. You are so fascinating, Byrne. You are just Do not feel bad about it because I can say a word, and that's the reason sometimes when I come across new faces, you, my first opening is always like, so uh, what do you speak? Mm -hmm. Oh, especially okay. in the Philippines, because you I can, can speak Pig Latin. It's <laughs> 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 very good. Larry, I thank you so much. Earn bay eraso pay. Earn bay eraso pay. What a wonderful way. Eighty lay uye r a. So that's the reason you have to listen to WOCA <laughs> because we have Larry and Robin here and <laughs> we keep you updated of what's good and what's new. Anyway, I thank you once again to you, you know you for say chatting thank you to your sponsors. Too. <laughs> And thank you, uh, Vishnu Reddy, MD, Director of Seven Hill Gastroenterology, for a beautiful 2015. I mean, it was a very good year for all of us. And um, did I, did I, um, I, I wish you, I'm my mental, you know, it's mental blog. I wish you the best for 2016. And again, uh, get your colon screening. Uh, go see your doctor and. Your health, it should be a priority. So it's about loving yourself, and that's one of my um, one of my uh, New Year's resolution that I have to take better care yeah. of my oh, okay. self. How, how do you do that? I mean, how do you better. love yourself? How do I? Well, first I have to go see my doctor, and I just line up that appointment. Mm -hmm. I'm, I need to get my blood test done. Now I'm hoping that everything is is good. You can only hope, and I don't, you know, I can't afford to get sick. No. We want to be here. We want to work. Right. And you're right. a mom, you're a parent. Exactly. And I have quite a few, uh, you know, uh, beloveds that I take care. I mean, all my friends, you know, thank you for the friendship, the 2015, to all my doctors, you know, all your support is truly and gratefully appreciated. So, again, uh, I thank Dr. Vishnu already. I didn't quite finish when I said that. He's the medical director of Seven Hill Gastroenterology. Um, 3256 South Pine Avenue. That's in Ocala. Telephone number 4011919. So thank you again. Um, I think that's all for today. Thank it's, you, Byrne. How, how, how long is the scarf? It looks like it's all tucked in there this somewhere. This one, I actually kind of, it's all the way here. Is it really long? Um, I mean, it's... It's, it's, it's just, not very long. No. I think it's, <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> because I'm like, I was going to pull it out. But thank you <laughs> once again, and you all have a good week. I'll see you next week. <laughs> thank you, Brent. That was fun. We will be right back. And uh, if you need any of that information, uh, A, you can watch the video because it's recorded. It'll be online. And B, you can call us. We'll give you Brent's phone number. Thank you, Brent. <laughs> The
weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. On this Monday, it'll be partly sunny with a high of 63 to 67. Clear to partly cloudy, breezy, and chilly Monday night with a low of 40 to 45 in a few inland spots, 55 right at the coast. Tuesday, partly sunny and breezy. There can be a brief shower or two near the coast, the high around 60 in the north to 68 in the south. And on Wednesday, variable cloudiness with a shower, highs in the mid-60s to low 70s. From the Florida Weather Center, meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Fox Street Radio, I'm Pat O'Neill. Another flood victim in the Midwest, the body of a second Illinois teenager who was in a truck was pulled from floodwaters. Christian County Sergeant Alan Bailey. They were attempting to travel a flooded roadway there. The current just swept the vehicle off into deep water. It was initially recovered in 17 feet of water. 25 deaths in Illinois and Missouri blamed on the flooding, which is expected to worsen in Arkansas, Kentucky, and Tennessee. A new ISIS video appears to show the killing of five British spies with a threat to invade the UK. It's along the lines of a series of previous ISIS videos which were fronted by another man with a British accent who was labelled Jihadi John. He was killed in a US drone strike in November. A spokeswoman for the British Prime Minister saying the video should be dismissed as propaganda. Fox Radio Simon Owen in London. The San Bernardino Regional Centre that was the scene of a shooting massacre last month will reopen today. Fourteen were killed in the attack. Fox News. We report. You decide.